Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be joining with you today. It is a Thursday, and it is 9 a.m. in Hawaii time. It may be 14th of the month, 15th of the month. I'm really not quite sure. But I can tell you one thing, that today is going to be a beautiful day. Today, for all those that are just tuning in for the first time on live stream, we're going to be focusing on transforming family relationships. And I'll be sharing with you some wisdom that uh, Dr. Master Shah has brought to us in humanity to use the spiritual approach to transforming family relationships. We're going to get some deeper wisdom on that and what we can do about it because very often what occurs is our family is our core and they tend to be uh, very pertinent to our health and well-being. They tend to be extremely relevant to our emotional well-being and they even have a strong impact on our mental state of mind. And so when we can transform some of those uh, very important and relevant family related blockages, then our physical, emotional, and mental experiences become much, much more enjoyable. So that's what you can expect today on today's live stream. I hope you are able to stick around. This live stream will go for approximately an hour. So if you can't stay the whole time, make sure you like and subscribe and you'll have the opportunity to watch the uh, recording after the fact. So it's always something you can look forward to. So thank you all for joining. Uh, last Tuesday, I had a very, very uh, fun and powerful live stream. <clears throat> Give me a moment. And what I did was I did a, a meditation for healing. And I walked everyone through a meditation and we floated up to heaven and received a huge blessing. A lot of positive comments from that. So I hope that if you missed that, you have a chance to go back and review it. <clears throat> so let's see who's joined in so far today. Welcome Jack Poulton. Aloha Disha. Aloha also to Diana. Welcome Don Robinson. Welcome also Amit Agar and Erica. Welcome Kathy Arnold. Welcome also to Dimple. Great to see you here, Dimple. Aloha Kristen Rojas and Nikki. Aloha and welcome. Bob Mahal, Petra Marie. Welcome. And also welcome Monica. Welcome also to Nikki Davis Johnson, Pretty, welcome. And uh, Katie Carter, aloha. Welcome also to Lisa Bellevance. There might be a few more joining us. Thursday is usually a little bit slower day. Uh, Tuesdays tend to grab more people because of the time frame. Um, this time frame tends to grab a few extra students that are not available at other times when I'm going live because they are uh, sleeping. So I'm glad this gets some of you when you're actually awake. So relationships, and we'll, we'll go more into this <clears throat> as we go. Oh, Katie, first time viewer. I hope you stick around, Katie. Good stuff. I'm also going to be delivering um, a transmission today, a, a blessing. So for all those that are watching this, they will get that. So a um, little background before we move forward. And we're waiting for a few more people to come in. My name is Master Paul. And I have been doing these live streams for about two years. The word master in front of the name is really just a moniker. It simply means that I'm skilled in this knowledge and in the delivery of this knowledge. I've been doing it for about 10 years. And so hopefully it, it will serve you. Welcome, Tony. Tay. Welcome, Sharon Dodd. Let me readjust my seating in my chair here. Okay. And uh, I do offer some uh, live classes, uh, uh, webinar classes for opening the spiritual channels, uh, for self-healing, and not too long in the distant future here, I'll be offering classes for self-healing of cancer. So that should be a good class as well. <clears throat> I'm working with the wisdom of a person named Dr. Master Shah. This is one of his books. We'll be working with this today. This one's called Divine Transformation. I know it's backwards in your image. And one of his most recent books is called Divine Love. And the reason I work with this wisdom from Master Shah is because having trained under a couple different enlightened beings and 
being over a half century years old, I have figured out that some people know more about the workings of this universe than others. And um, Master Shaw is one of them. And uh, his 21 books and 11 New York Times bestselling books tend to validate that. It's kind of hard to get more than two New York Times bestsellers, let alone 11. So he must know a few things. So I'll be sharing some of that wisdom today. Welcome Becky Lafave. Welcome also to uh, Tanuja Patel and Diane Chun. So while we're waiting, let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is one of the body power positions uh, Master Shah has taught. Body power is a hand mudra position. Readjust the lighting in the camera here. Give me a second. Welcome, Catherine O'Shea. <clears throat> and so we place our hands in a prayer position. Drop the left hand in front of the heart center, connecting heaven into our heart center. Let's close our eyes. I will call forth the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao source, all of the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including... All the masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, and buddhas, and bodhisattvas. All the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints. We love you all, honor you all, deeply respect you all. And we invite your presence at this time to come to sit with each and every one of us as we go through today's practice and wisdom and blessings for releasing family blockages. We invite our heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints. We invite our own soul to be present. We invite beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Amitofu, beloved Krishna, beloved Ganesha, beloved Shiva, all beings of light who serve the planet of the light side. We love you all and invite you all to please come. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, please turn on. We invite all souls to join us at this time to chant love, peace, and harmony, to offer this unconditional service. So again, for those that are new, this is a mantra. It is a blessing. Uh, it's just a minute or two of chanting to set the energy field. You can make a request silently. The rest who wish to join in this chanting service, please join. Lula, lula, li. 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 Lula. Woe, I I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We say how which Mandarin Chinese means get well, complete, perfect. And we say thank you three times. The third, first thank you is to our Creator. Second thank you to all the beings of light who have joined us at this time. Third thank you is to our own soul. So aloha and welcome to Alan. Aloha and welcome to Lopez. Sending blessings of positivity through this live stream. Welcome Archana, Aloha, welcome Lisa Carter and Colleen Hook, and welcome also Sima. Uh, and if anybody ever missed your name, forgive me, welcome, thank you for joining. <clears throat> so today we're going to be focusing on transforming family relationship blockages. Who, who, who watching has a family? Who watching has a family? Or on some level of the family, there is relationship, communication, blockages. 
It could be that one of the parents speak disrespectfully. Uh, it could be I have a, one of the students that her mother is, is going through some dementia conditions and is driving the poor student crazy because the mother has always been negative, but now she's negative in a loop, you know, constantly because she forgets she's being negative, right? So that's driving her crazy. So we all have our own version of family relationship blockages. Uh, for some of us, we might have three children and two of them we get along pretty good with and one of them is exceedingly challenging. Um, these are family relationship blockages. Spouse, right? We marry, we find the love of our life, you know, everything's just, you know, we're like we're flying on clouds. And then three and a half years later, it's like a record. And what happened? Things kind of are not quite the same. And maybe you're running on, um, you're running on uh, hope and faith that things will return to the way they were. These are all different versions of relationship blockages that can kind of go south for the winter. And sometimes the winter, the summer, and the spring, and the fall, and a couple years in a row. Some of them we can't do anything about because we're married to them. Not like a marriage, because you can divorce. But like family, right? What do you do about family? Mom and dad. If one of them are not pleasant, you can't necessarily get rid of them. You can be distant from them. Uh, but there's things that we just simply can't do um, if somebody is very glued to us in a way that uh, we just have to work with it. So in this third dimensional realm, we have to deal with things with our third dimensional five senses. Um, sight, smell, sound, hearing, taste, and our emotional and mental capacities. So some of us apply psychology to it, or some of us apply reverse psychology. Some of us apply manipulation to try to fix things with family. Some of us apply ignoring things. Basically, we, we have uh, self-protective mechanisms that try to keep us sane uh, around our beloved family members, whoever they might be. <laughs> some of us, we really do love them, but we just can't figure out how to to uh, keep from pulling our own hair out. So in all of these cases, we're dealing with things on a non-spiritual level. And one of the things I truly appreciate about Master Shah and the wisdom that Master Shah has brought, uh, and I do recommend this book, Divine Transformation, I'll be using the wisdom from it and some of the blessings from it to assist us, is that not only does he give you some solutions, he defines and helps you to understand the source of these kinds of problems. Why did they enter your life? Why are they here? And why haven't they left yet? Darn it. And this happens for a lot of people. It doesn't seem to matter what happens. Uh, these kinds of problems tend to follow them. Now, in Master Shah's lingo, he calls it karma. And so most people are okay with that word. There are a few belief systems that have difficulties with it. But depending on the belief system, all it is is, is uh, you know, what you have done to upon others is done upon you. Uh, the sins of the father are visited upon the son. There's so many different ways it can be said, but karma in essence is a, a return of an imbalance to remind you of the imbalance so that it can be balanced. And so from a spiritual perspective, uh, family is where we're going to have the majority of our karma. And that's the tough part as well, because family, we can't necessarily get rid of them. We have to work with it or avoid it. And certainly probably half of you watching today are in the avoidance uh, column. The other half are trying to figure out how to work with it. The dilemma being we're working with it with um, our basic intelligences and basic emotions and basic knowledges. We might go see some psychologists or psychiatrists. We might go to groups, counseling, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't necessarily bring resolve. Uh, for some people it does, and that's good. Uh, in the wisdom that Master Shah brings to us, he refers to it as there is a root cause. And the one sentence secret is the root cause of all success and all failure in a family environment. The root cause of all success and all failure in any relationship is karma. So think about that. Why are some relationships just hunky-dory, special, best friend special, um, you can trust, you know, everything's just perfect. One relationship with one parent is exceptional. The relationship with the other parent is unexceptional, right? Why? 
karma explains the answer to that. These people in our family, the people that we marry, um, the moms and dads, the children, the brothers and sisters, these are the ones we have the most good or unpleasant karma with. The ones on our periphery, going outward, we have a little bit less with them. But the ones that we're glued to, those are the ones we have the most with. So, good news and bad news. Good news is, if you're having excellent uh, experiences with some of those relationships, that's good news. Congratulations, you have generated and resolved whatever bad karma there was, and now you figured it out and you're having good experiences. Bad news. If you are having unpleasant experiences with some of those in relationship, and there's no way out except ignoring it, um, it's not going to go away. Because... The nature of karma is that it follows you. Why does it follow us? Because the lesson hasn't been learned. It follows us because there has been no resolve. What brings it to us? What brings that unpleasant mother or father to us? The one that always puts us down. The one that never says anything positive. The one that is um, derogatory to a, to a point where you just kind of want to pull their ear off. Um, of course, there is the family patterning. In other words, they kind of duplicate and mimic what their parents did. But follow me through on this. If you're a believer in more than one life, which certainly you don't have to be, but this is just one example. Let's say that it's on the mother's side, and the mother is one of those naggers, right? Nah, 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 nah. When are you going to get married? No, 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 no. When are you going to get me grandchildren? No, 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 no. You're never good enough. Da, 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 da. Right, all that kind of a talk. Now, I'm not saying any of you have a mom like that, but let's use that as an example. And so, how did they learn that? They learned it from their parents, right? And they learned it, and they learned it, and they learned it. Now, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's simply karmic. But typically, especially, especially, especially family, and if you believe in more than one life, in other words, reincarnation, then it's highly likely you, the you now, were the parent of the parent of the parent, or somewhere in that lineage. You could have been a father, you could have been a mother, but it's highly likely you were the parent of who is now your parent. How can we say that with such clarity and belief? Because they're driving you crazy. They're testing you. They're giving you incredible opportunity to transform your relationships, transform your life. But they're driving me crazy. What are you talking about transforming? Yes, in the concept of karma, if we are experiencing suffering, there is a, there's a precursor. There is a reason for it. There is no accidents in this understanding. Everything has a source. There, everything has a cause which leads to an effect. And so the effect being your suffering at the end of somebody's tongue, the cause could be your tongue 100, 200, 300 years ago, one, two, or three lifetimes ago. That's a tough one to swallow for some people. But let's assume you do swallow that, that you say, okay, I'll bite. Let's imagine that I was the one that was the jerk mother or father before. Let's imagine that I was the one that was the unpleasant spouse before. Or I was the one that was the kid that drove the mother crazy before. <clears throat> Wherever your point of suffering is in a relationship, the fastest way out, the fastest enlightenment, the fastest way to transform that relationship is to awaken to that truth. That there is never, ever, ever an accident. That heaven works in very mysterious ways, but more, more, more accurately, heaven doesn't make mistakes. There is no um, errors in the um, creation process, I guess is a good way to put it. So if that person is creating suffering, then you can rest assured uh, one of two things are true. Either you've earned it because you created the same suffering for them, or uh, this person has come to you to give you an opportunity to ask forgiveness for creating that same kind of suffering upon others. Those are the two options. You could, maybe this person that's in front of you could be a coworker, a boss, or somebody like that. Um, it's very unpleasant. 
This is a relationship, right? Not necessarily family. But uh, if those people are very unpleasant in their communications to you, talking derogatorily, whatever it may be, those are the two options. Either you were that way towards them in a previous time, obviously we don't remember, or you were that way towards others and they have come to give you some insights about how unpleasant it would, would be to have been on the receiving end of that. So this is the basic wisdom. You can choose to accept it or not. I have no attachments to that. It's something that resonates with me. It's something that I have found to be true and accurate in my understanding. And it's something that proves true when we apply the practices that we'll be applying today. So in this book, Divine Transformation, there is many chapters on how to transform different areas of your life, including health, family, relationship. There's a lot of different uh, wisdom in here. So one of my favorite books, actually. Highly recommend it. And in here, Master Shah delivers something to everybody. And I'm going to read what he delivers. So this is on. This is not even on page numbers. These are, you know, the Roman numerals XX five. Okay. So I'm going to read what it is you'll receive if you wish to receive it, because it is optional, and then you can have a greater understanding on it. In the book, the Soul Power series are unique. For the first time in history, the divine is downloading the divine's soul treasures to the readers as they read these books. Every book in the Soul Power series will include divine soul downloads. That's interesting, right? A divine soul download that have been pre-programmed. When you read the appropriate paragraph and pause for a minute, the divine gifts will be transmitted to your soul. So welcome, um, Lama Rangbar. Welcome, Pamela Carmo. Welcome also to Richard Shuping. Aloha and welcome to Adoki. Welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome, Michelle Michelle. Uh, and Tammy J. Aloha. Welcome, Kim Dewberry Powers. Uh, and if I missed anyone, forgive me. Thank you for coming. So in 2005, the Divine asked Master Shah to please leave uh, soul downloads to history. And Master Shah's writing, it says, I thought a human being's life is limited. Even if I live a long, long life. He's going to go back to heaven. This is Master Shah's thinking. So how do I leave divine soul downloads to history? Because Master Shah, if you do any homework on him, has been delivering downloads, transmissions, to help people to transform and heal from major health issues and all kinds of blockages. And <clears throat> you can do more homework on your own, but there's, you know, there's like a 20-year history of this and certainly over a 1,000 uh, video testimonials uh, of the efficacy of divine downloads. And so, but he was told, uh, the divine said, we want you to leave them to history. He's like, well, I'm only going to live, you know, maybe 100 or 200 years. How do I do that? And so in the beginning of 2008, as he was editing one of his books, the divine said, I will pre-program my download into the book. Any reader can receive them as he or she reads the special paper. So the divine gave Master Shah the direction of how to do this. And he pre-programmed soul downloads into the book. So divine soul downloads are unlimited. There can be a divine soul download for anything that exists in the physical world. The reason for this is very simple. Everything has a soul. A house has a soul. Divine can download a soul to your house. So creator basically can do just about anything. And Master Shah is the vessel through which blessings can be offered. And so he has placed power into this book. There are, I think, 13, uh, no, 33, excuse me, 39 uh, divine downloads placed in this book. Another good reason to get it. <clears throat> so, what is a divine download? It is a golden light ball that carries a specific frequency. In this case, those who choose to receive it will receive a rainbow uh, light ball of divine love if you choose to receive it. Um, what can you expect after? This is important. So, divine soul downloads are new souls created from the heart of the divine. When the souls are transmitted, you may feel a strong vibration. This definitely happens. If you have energy sensitivity, 
it's highly likely you will feel this. If your third eye is open, you will absolutely see it. It's a rainbow light bulb. It just depends on how sensitive you are. Um, when these souls are transmitted, you may feel a strong vibration. For example, you could feel warm or excited. Your body could shake a little. If you are not sensitive, you may, feel, may not feel anything. Advanced spiritual beings with an open third eye can actually see a huge golden rainbow or purple crystal light soul entering your body. These divine souls are your yin companions, yin and yang. Yin is, is uh, from the heavenly realms. And they are there with you for life. That's important to understand. Now, many people have received these divine downloads, but they don't use them enough, right? And when they do use them, they work but they forget that they can be used for anything. It doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> these divine souls are your yin companion. I will teach you how to invoke these divine souls anytime, anywhere for divine healing or blessings in your life, including using these to bless and transform your relationships. <clears throat> these divine souls have extraordinary abilities to heal, bless, and transform. If you develop advanced spiritual abilities in your next life, you will discover that you have these divine souls with you. Isn't that interesting? So next time around, uh, if your spiritual channels are developed, you'll be like, wow, where did I get these rainbow light balls? They're with my soul. Because they stay with you from lifetime to lifetime. Okay? So, this is optional. This is not something that anybody is obligated to receive. So, uh, if you wish to receive, sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair, feet flat on the floor. Welcome, Bari. Welcome, Crystal. <clears throat> and I will read this and transmit it to you. Now, uh, you are supposed to be required to read this directly yourself. In other words, you, uh, if you have not received the authorities, cannot transmit this to somebody else. They have to read the words directly. But uh, as a certified master teacher underneath, my teacher, Master Shah, I've been given authority to deliver this. So, if you wish to receive, then silently tell the Divine I wish to receive. If you do not, then simply say, I'm not ready to receive at this time. Very simple. Okay? Prepare. I'm still preparing myself. Give me a minute. Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, and divine rainbow liquid spring of divine love, soul transplant for all those that wish to receive. For all those that do not, then please do not deliver it to them. E Transmission! Keep your eyes closed, there's more coming. Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid spring of divine love mind transplant. The transmission. Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid spring of divine love body transplant. The Transmission! Divine order, divine rainbow light bulb, divine rainbow liquid spring of divine love. Soul, mind, body transplants join as one, turn on 24 7 in the Ming Min. Uh, transmission! Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, yo. How, how, how. You are all very, very, very blessed. So, each of you have received a, congratulations, each of you have received a three treasures, rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid springs, soul, mind, and body transplants. These will be with your soul forever. They carry extraordinary frequency. They carry divine frequency of divine's love, not a human's love. 
big difference. Rainbow light ball represents a higher level of frequency. There's gold, rainbow, purple, and crystal. <clears throat> so rainbow is, is much higher level than the gold, a million times higher frequency. And so these are extraordinary, not to be um, uh, ignored. <clears throat> you can use them anytime, not just for family relationships, okay? You can use them under many, many, many different conditions. So welcome Marcy Metzler, welcome Monica Spiegel, welcome Danta, <clears throat> and the others if I missed your name, forgive me. So now we're going to use these treasures to transform our family relationships. And we can also use them to bless others. Let's say, for example, you are uh, watching your child on stage <clears throat> and they are forgetting their lines or they're um, stressing out or they're playing a football game or, or your sister is, you know, has a headache and you're talking to her on the phone. Dear my divine rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring of divine love, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please offer a blessing to my sister, help her clear her headache blockages? Can you please offer a blessing to my child on the stage, help them get over their stage fright? You could be very surprised. These treasures are extremely powerful. <clears throat> Master Shah has left these treasures in this book, Divine Transformation. So I hope you get it because there's another 36 treasures in the book. So now we're going to practice with this for the transformation of our relationship. And we're going to work through a couple of different relationship blockages. And we're going to go through the four power technique. So the four powers is body power, sound power, mind power, and soul power. So to get the greatest benefit, you need to do these kinds of practices a minimum of 10 minutes a day. <clears throat> you could be surprised. 10 minutes a day if you focus. Dear my divine, rainbow light ball of love, please turn on. Please offer a blessing to da 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 da. If you do that consistently every day, 10 minutes, you can be very surprised the benefits. So let's do it now. Sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Place your hands in the body power position. It's called the soul light, soul surface hand position. Hand mudra where the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. The left hand covers the heart center. Close your eyes and let us connect. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. <clears throat> Dear all my downloads and treasures. Dear my... Rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring of divine love transmission. A transmission and treasure are the same thing. Please turn on. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please offer a blessing for the family members that I am chanting for? Please bless our relationship for each request. Thank you. <clears throat> Remember, we invited in all the beings of light, so let's ask their service as well. Continue to repeat. Dear all of the beings of light who have come to offer their service at this time, I love you. Deeply appreciate your unconditional service. Could you please bless the relationships that I am focusing on as I do this practice. I am extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now it's always important to do a short forgiveness practice. <clears throat> so repeat after me. Dear all the souls of my family members, my loved ones, I love you, honor you, truly appreciate you. Please forgive me for this lifetime, for any lifetime, that I have not been loving towards you. If I have spoken in a way to you that is mean, derogatory, unhealthy, negative, if I have put you down, if I have spoke to you in an angry manner, 
in a manner that was anything less than loving, especially if I have done this before this lifetime, because I do not remember it. Please forgive me. I know that it is possible I have communicated this way to many souls because many in my family and loved ones have communicated this way to me. And now I recognize I may have been the source of these problems. Please forgive me if I initiated our poor communication. Please forgive me if I have ever communicated with you in an unpleasant manner. I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness for this lifetime and any lifetime that you have been communicating with me in a non-loving manner. I forgive you because I know it could be my karma that brought this to me. And if it is not, I may have been unpleasant towards others. I forgive you unconditionally. Please forgive me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so now we can do the practice. We have turned on our rainbow light ball. <clears throat> we have communicated with the souls. And so we will visualize the rainbow light ball shining on our family member. So this time I want you to choose one family member in particular. We're going to go through a couple of different versions of this. Choose one family member in particular. Ask their soul to come in front of you, their soul. So dear the soul of, could you please come at this time so we can do this practice together. <clears throat> and you will repeat, divine rainbow light ball. clears all my relationship karma with, and then you state the person's name, okay? Divine rainbow light ball clears all my relationship karma with, state the person's name. And we're going to continue repeating this. Your visualization is that the rainbow light ball surrounds both of you, clears blockages between your hearts, clears blockages on your mouth because much unpleasant communication has occurred, clears blockages of negativity in the mind. Visualize the rainbow light ball clearing the blockages. It is doing that, but we're adding the mind power. So let us chant, divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all karma in my relationship with divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma in my relationship with divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with go deeper into your practice truly be present to that person and say these words from your heart divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with do, 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 do. divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with da, 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 da. divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with Da, 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 da. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with da, 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 da. divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all my relationship karma with da, 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 da. 
divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma with da 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 divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma with da 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 divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma with da 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 divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma with da 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 silently continue to repeat divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears my relationship karma with da 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 divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears my relationship karma with da 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 and as you chant this see the light between you and the other person getting brighter and brighter and brighter the resistance the negativity between you is becoming much much less the light between you much brighter divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma between me and da 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 divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma between me and da 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 divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma between me and da 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 divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all relationship karma between me and da 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 divine rainbow light ball and divine love clears all relationship karma between me and da 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 and so now this soul is very happy the soul that you've invited is extremely grateful reach out and give that soul a big soul hug and say thank you i love you i forgive you please forgive me when you do this the souls are very 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 happy because the souls know if this is not resolved it could be very unpleasant and so now we will do the same practice with all of our family members so visualize all your family members brothers and sisters mothers and fathers children invite all of their souls to become in front of you say dear the souls of my family members my brothers my sisters my children my mother my father please be in front of me continue to repeat i love you all so very much i am so grateful for your presence please receive the blessings and receive my forgiveness thank you <clears throat> continue to repeat to the souls of your family members if i have been unpleasant to you in this or any lifetime i sincerely from my heart from the deepest place in my heart i sincerely apologize dear my beloved parents if i have ever been a parent to you communicated with you in any form that was disrespectful dishonoring unloving hurtful or harmful if i have harmed you physically emotionally or mentally in this or any lifetime from the bottom of my heart i sincerely apologize i know that you may not have intended to harm me physically emotionally or mentally in this lifetime that if you have you may have been repeating our karma i forgive you unconditionally please forgive me dear the soul of my children past and present i love you on you deeply appreciate you please forgive me for being anything other than an unconditional loving parent please forgive me my anger my irritation please forgive me my communication that may have harmed you physically 
emotionally or mentally. I sincerely apologize. If you have communicated with me in this or any lifetime in a way that has created harm physically, emotionally, or mentally to me, I forgive you unconditionally. I love you. Thank you. Dear the soul of my brothers and sisters from this lifetime and any lifetime, I love you. Please forgive me our poor communication, our lack of love, respect, and honoring for each other. If I have communicated with you in such a way in this lifetime or any lifetime that has been unloving, thoughtless, jealous, disrespectful, dishonoring, if I have treated you as inferior or superior, if I have offered unpleasant physical, emotional, or mental communication, I sincerely apologize to you, my beloved brothers and sisters. If you have communicated unpleasantly towards me in any of these ways, I recognize now it may be our karma that I may have been this way towards you. I forgive you unconditionally and I ask your unconditional forgiveness if I have been these ways towards you. Let us all, all of my family, chant together to release these blockages. So visualize the rainbow light ball that you have just received, expanding to all of the family members, and it is healing the entire family unit, clearing lifetimes of blockages. Continue to repeat. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all of the karma in my family. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all of the karma in my family. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears all of the karma in my family. Thank you. And as you chant this, see the divine rainbow light ball. It's spinning in each of the children, each of the brothers and sisters, each of the mothers and fathers. And it's clearing blockages not only between you and them, but between each other. That's the power. Continue to repeat. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma in my family. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members. Thank you. So I'm going to change it just slightly. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma in my family members and heals us. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Feel the healing. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears family mem karma with the family members and heals us. Thank you. When you say thank you, truly offer your deepest gratitude to God, to the source, to the divine rainbow love light ball. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma 
of my family members and heals us. Thank you, divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma of our family members and heals us. Thank you. Continue to visualize silently. Visualize the rainbow light ball clearing blockages. The light ball is clearing blockages between you and each family member, between the children, between the brothers and sisters, between the mother and father and all of them and you. The whole family unit is getting blessed. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Divine rainbow light ball of divine love clears the karma with my family members and heals us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How, how, how. So please return and share what experiences you may have had with this. And I will remind everybody, what you have received is a permanent light ball treasure. This can be used for anything. The divine rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid spring of divine love is divine love. It carries a much higher frequency. This divine love, Jindan, Jindan means light ball, has uh, come to you. It is with you. It is permanent. And all that is asked of you is to use it. Remember it. How do you do that? Remember that it is like a, it's like a, a magic tool in your toolbox. Anytime you are stressed, anytime you are in need of love or clearing of a pain, a blockage, anytime you want to serve another, simply ask it. Dear my divine love light ball. If that's all you can remember, that's fine. Dear my divine love light ball. Please offer a blessing for da 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 da. And then close your eyes, ask the other soul uh, that you're offering a blessing, maybe it's between you and another soul or whatever it might be, to come. Do a short forgiveness practice. Very simple, right? And then chant Divine Rainbow Light Ball of Divine Love heals da 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 da. It's truly that simple. You know, humanity makes things so difficult. I love that Master Shah has brought this wisdom to us. And he not only brings the wisdom, but he empowers us. Um, you can receive 39 more of those treasures. Just go get this book. It's about six years old now. Divine Transformation is the name. I know it's backwards. But it will serve you for years to come. So I'm looking forward to reading some of the responses. I saw a lot of people posting during this practice. You know, one of the things I want to make a note of is those that post during the practice cannot possibly be doing the practice because you're typing. So be aware of the nature of how busy your mind is because it is not serving you to be in your heart. This practice is a heart-based practice. How can you possibly be clearing the blockages if you are in your mind? Okay, so in the future, if we are doing practices, please do your best to be present to the practices, not typing away. Archana says she felt the heat. Vagna says this has been a very powerful meditation practice healing. She truly felt like a magic tool used to remove huge blockages. Yeah, it is like that. Uh, Monica is very grateful. And Dove says, thank you so much for the practice. She could feel a deep emotional release of blockages between her and some family members. It's 10 to 15 percent of lifetimes of karma uh, very likely have been removed with this practice. And Aloha Anna and uh, anyone else who I haven't seen, Bella Grace, welcome and Aloha. Welcome Carl. <coughs> okay. So I thank you all for coming. I uh, do a last minute calling for anybody that's enjoyed this. You want some.
personal uh, service. I do one-on-one -on -one services, of course, um, very successfully. Uh, also, there is, uh, I think, just a few more days left what, until, uh, yeah, until Saturday. You have until Saturday, um, the 17th, I think that's a Saturday, um, to enroll at 50% off in my Open Spiritual Channels. It's a 12-week course in opening your spiritual channels. We're just about to enter week three. So maybe it goes a little bit longer. Um, and then after that, I have to close it because you, you can only catch up so much. Um, but if you choose to join, you get 50% off. Kristen just posted the link and probably the discount code. Um, but do consider joining that. Uh, the class is almost full. I only have room for two more students. And also, if you need self-healing, uh, I have a ongoing week by week. It's called 52 Weeks of Self-Healing. People uh, come in, some do four weeks, some do 12 weeks, some will stay the entire 52. And it's ongoing uh, direct classes that apply this kind of wisdom right from Master Shah's books. Huge important classes and they're a lot more one-on-one. -on -one. This is me talking, you listening. The webinar classes are, um, it's open forum, we talk back and forth, it's question and answers, direct blessings, a lot more personalized. Um, and they're very, very affordable. So follow the links that Kristen Rojas has put in there if you're of interest to that, okay? So let us offer our gratitude to all the beings of light. Welcome, Roshan. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you, all layers of the Divine Tao Source, beloved Creator. Thank you, Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul. We thank you, Ganesha. We thank you, Krishna. We thank you, Jesus, Buddha. We thank you. All the beings of light are heaven's teams, all the heaven's generals and soldiers and heaven's animals. We thank the divine rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid springs of divine love for its unconditional service. We ask all these souls to respectfully return. And then each and every time we do practices, we ask them to come to serve with us to help clear the blockages faster. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. So thank you, everybody, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.